Welcome. We'll take a look at the mechanics rule for how writers can italicize names of ships and other crafts. So with this rule, writers should italicize the names of ships, satellites, and all types of spacecrafts. Be sure to apply this rule when a fictionalized craft is used in fiction, especially in science fiction stories. So this goes for fiction and nonfiction. Let's take a look at some examples. Jean-Luc Picard captains the USS Enterprise in Star Trek The Next Generation. So if you're unfamiliar with it, Star Trek The Next Generation was a TV program that was uh, a fictionalized story that happened in space. The name of this ship here, the USS Enterprise, that is the name of the spacecraft that is mentioned in the show. So that title, USS Enterprise, is italicized. Let's look at another example here. The satellite Ariel launched in 1962 as part of a joint venture. The name of the satellite Ariel is italicized. That indicates that that is the title of the satellite. Another example here, Odin. The satellite launched by the Canadians in cooperation with several other countries studied ozone depletion. Here we have that name, Odin, the name of that satellite that is italicized. Let's look at some more examples. In 1492, Columbus sailed with the Nina, Pinta, and Santa Maria. So these are three ships in that convoy. Each of the titles of those ships, Nina, Pinta, Santa Maria, are indicated with italics. Another example here, in Plymouth, Massachusetts, you can visit a reconstruction of the Mayflower. Mayflower was the name of a ship, and so it is in italics here. And another example, one of the greatest American ships was the USS Constitution, named by George Washington, which protected American waters for decades. The name of this ship was the USS Constitution, and because it is the name of a ship, it is in italics. I hope that information is helpful to you, and good luck with your writing.